Hello, Matthew here, Maintenance Manager, Villa Lago Apartments. Today I want to go over shutting down your fire sprinkler system in your riser room. Uh, first step, first and foremost, uh, we want to confirm we do not have an active fire before we touch anything in this riser room. Uh, we definitely don't want to kill water flow when we have a fire going on. And again, this is going to be a high, usually we're going to be dealing with this in a high stress uh, time. You got the fire alarm going off, you probably have multiple units flooding. So we want to stay calm and focus on devices we need to get this water shut down. First and foremost, we want to locate our main control valve. I have one here, and it's going to be labeled main control. I actually have two. I've got another one up here for my dry system. Um, so let's say we have a broken interior head, uh, a bedroom head broke for some reason. Uh, we know it's an interior head. And this lower, you, your lowest valve is usually going to be the, the main valve. You can turn it, and you'll see this, this uh, indicator will actually start turning as well. And the vert vertical position means that it is open, water can flow through. And the horizontal position, that means that gate valve is completely shut, and that will turn the water off. After you have the water shut down, uh, I typically shut down all of my main control valves. So if I see one, I'm going to turn it off. And just to confirm, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my second control valve until I get everything situated. After my control valves are shut down, I want to go ahead and drain my system. This is where you have to be careful. If you know you have an interior head, uh, or let's, let's, let's say you have two, two systems. I have a wet and a dry system. Um, so I have an interior head, so I want to find my water line going into my interior heads. Uh, I know it's this one right here, and I can find the main drain for my interior head system. So I want to go ahead and after I have my uh, main control valves water flow turned off, I want to go ahead and open this drain valve. Um, to allow all the water to drain out of the system on the interior heads and that'll stop the flooding units. Um, if you have an exterior head you'll you'll do the opposite. You'll you'll go find your main drain on your other system which mine is kind of tucked away way back here. And you'll see main drain there. Uh, that will drain my dry system. Uh, if you have antifreeze uh, for your exterior heads, this is where you want to be careful. Um, you do not want to drain all the antifreeze out of your system if there's nothing wrong with that system. Um, if you have an exterior head that popped, all your antifreeze is gone already, so you can go ahead and drain that system. Uh, but you do not want to drain your dry system because you have, have an interior head broken. Um, and, and the only way to get your panel to silence, to get your fire alarm to stop sounding, is you have to stop all the water flow before you'll be able to silence your panel. Um, again, this is uh, life-saving uh, devices, and we do not want to tamper with these. Uh, we highly suggest visiting your, your riser room, find all your valves, make sure anyone that... Uh, on site um, can can access this and, and knows what they're turning off uh, if there is a flooding issue. Uh, thank you so much.